Likely to succeed. Leave a sort to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number eight, Dennis O'Rourke. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This question is for the Minister of Defence and asks Is he satisfied that all issues arising from the 2010 Anzac Day helicopter accident have been properly dealt with by the government and or the RNZAF? The Hon. Murray McCulley. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Defence, the Government is satisfied that the Air Force has learnt the appropriate operational lessons from this crash as identified in the Court of Inquiry and is implementing those lessons. The New Zealand Defence Force is waiting to receive a report from a barrister, Mr Matthew McClelland, examining the Air Force's treatment of the families of the victims. The Defence Force is still awaiting further legal advice on potential disciplinary options. Dennis O'Rourke. It's up to me, um, Mr Speaker. Since it is over two years since the crash, why have RNZIF officers not been charged as a result of any disciplinary inquiry current? Considering Air Commodore Moore's comments to the assembling authority of the quarter inquiry, quote, that... There is now an obligation to investigate whether any offences have in fact been committed against the Armed Forces Discipline Act and what actions have been taken by the government and the RNZAF to deal with the culture issue, given the Air Commodore's further comments, quote, the culture of number three squadron at Ohakia is one of the most concerning of all causes and negative aspects of this culture are present in all six causes. The Minister, the Hon. Murray McCulley may answer one of those questions. The Hon. Murray McCulley. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Defence, the Court of Inquiry identified a number of factors related to Air Force orders, instructions, flying management, supervision and work practices which were not satisfactory. I'm advised that the Air Force has accepted these findings and made significant progress in implementing the changes. Additionally, the NZDF is working on a programme to improve pilot training systems. Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Speaker, will the government and the RNZAF apologise to the parents of Corporal Ben Carson for their incongruent treatment by the RNZAF, especially in being excluded from meetings and briefings to which the next of kin of other personnel killed or injured in the accident were invited, given the Carson's denial of the Minister's claim that such an apology has already been given. The Honourable Murray McCulley. Speaker, again on behalf of the Minister of Defence, the RNZAF has already acknowledged that it made mistakes in the way in which families were treated. The Air Force has learnt lessons in this respect and has apologised. The previous Minister of Defence initiated an independent review, that's the review I referred to earlier by the barrister, Mr McClellan, which was uh, subsequently widened to all... Oh, order, point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. M uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the answer has stated that an apology was given, whereas the, the question itself makes no, order. it clear that order, no order, such order, apology order, was given. Order. The member cannot use a point of order to dispute an answer being given. If the, uh, if the member may not like the answer being given, but he cannot use a point of order to dispute it. Uh, the, has the Honourable Minister finished? The Honourable Murray McCullough. I to make the final point, Mr Speaker, that the previous Minister of Defence, Dr Mapp, initiated an independent review by the barrister, Mr McClellan, which was subsequently widened to include the interests of all four families. Once Mr McClellan has completed his review, the Air Force can address any outstanding issues. Mr Speaker, I'm advised that that review should be available in approximately six weeks' time. Dennis O'Rourke. Oh, point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. I seek leave uh, to table these documents. Firstly, a copy of a letter from the Minister of Defence to Mr and Mrs Carson, dated 24 April 2012, We're stating that the RNZAF had apologised to them and... A copy of an email order, we'll dated deal, the first order, of May. Order, we'll deal with each document. Is there any the leave us sort of table that letter? Is there any objection? There is no objection. Dennis O'Rourke. I seek leave, uh, Mr Speaker, to table a copy of an email dated the 1st of May 2012 from Mr and Mrs Carson to myself 
confirming that they have had no apology from the RNZ. Leave us sort to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number nine, Mike Saban. Thank you, Mr.